travel to many parts of the world we might settle in different areas of the world but yet the traditional and authentic dishes of our place they remain with us forever and they always have a special place in our heart this is visu welcome back to my visu's magical kitchen in today's episode i'm going to make a interesting and yummy authentic dish from tamil nadu that's vattal kolamb to know more about this kind of interesting and quick recipes please subscribe to my channel visu's magical kitchen this is a very special recipe and it it is very sour and very tasty i don't belong to tamil nadu state but i love this recipe because i had it once in a tamil nadu restaurant and i was in love with this recipe so without making any late let's dive in and start cooking this yummy traditional authentic recipe from tamil nadu and the ingredients which we need to make this dish are a cup of shallots or sambar onions a cup of finely sliced tomatoes 2 spoons of rice flour 1 spoon of turmeric 2 spoons of salt according to your taste 2 spoons of red chili powder again according to your taste some cumin some fenugreek seeds or methi seeds mustard seeds for seasoning some vattal these are dried vegetables or turkey berries so they are available in any indian stores if you don't have this with you you can either use some fresh vegetables like drumsticks brinjal or any fresh vegetables in fact some water for cooking some fresh coriander for garnishing samba powder we need 3 tablespoons of samba powder this is the main ingredient for this some fresh curry leaves some jaggery a little piece and three fresh green chilies hing tamarind extract and some freshly chopped garlic pods if you have small garlic pods there is no need to chop them as i had the bigger pods i chopped them into half some sesame oil or gingerly oil for cooking because traditionally they cook with this oil and it gives a special taste to start with the cooking into the pan goes some gingerly oil The oil is all heated up, so it's time to add the methi seeds, the mustard seeds, and the cumin. Let them crackle while the mustard seeds and cumin are crackling. It's time to add the freshly chopped chilies into that. Add the chilies to the same pan. Add. fresh curry leaves now that everything has have crackled it's time to add this vattal as i previously mentioned you can replace this vattal using some fresh vegetables like drumsticks brinjal okra or lady's finger or any kind of fresh vegetables you have but this vattal are many varieties today i have used sandakal vattal or turkey berry you can get many kind of vattals in the indian stores vattal are nothing but dried berries or dried vegetables let the vattal turn the color into little brown until they give that aroma now that the vattal has turned the color and they giving that aroma so it's time to add in some hing give it a good stir into the same pan goes this garlic don't brown the garlic just saute them for 1 minute until the rawness goes a little then goes the sambar onions give it a good stir and let everything mix well and cook them for about 2 minutes now that the onions and the garlic together have cooked up for about 2 minutes it's time to add in these tomatoes to the same pan add 2 spoons of salt again it's according to your taste a spoon of turmeric mix it well and to the same pan add 
tablespoons of sambar powder mix it thoroughly add in the jaggery piece so that it also gets melted add in some little red chili powder because we have already added two chilies and the sambar powder has also the red chili powder in it so just a little mix it thoroughly and cover it with a lid and cook it for about 2 minutes now that all the ingredients here are cooked for about 2 to 3 minutes until the rawness of each ingredients that's onions garlic and the tomatoes are gone it's time to add in some water close it with a lid and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes until everything becomes soft then we are going to add the tamarind extract to it now that everything is cooked for 10 to 15 minutes i hope everything has become soft the onions and the garlic let me check yes they're perfectly soft it's time to add in the tamarind extract to this curry so before adding that into the tamarind extract add in some water add in two spoons of rice flour mix everything perfectly the reason behind adding this rice flour is to give the thickness to the curry mix it thoroughly the rice flour and the tamarind extract together and pour in this curry give it a good stir close in the lid and cook for more about five to six minutes and the healthy and tasty curry is going to be ready soon now that the dish is all cooked it's time to garnish it with some freshly chopped coriander garnish it with the fresh coriander now that everything is ready it's time to serve this dish and pour this recipe onto the rice along with the shallots and the garlic and it's ready so without making any late I'm going to taste this dish. Now that the tasty dish is all ready in the serving bowl to taste, I'm giving it a try along with the softened garlic pots. Mm. It's a really a very heavenly dish. The softened garlic pots the softened shallots along with the methi seeds which we added in the seasoning and the sourness and the tanginess of tomatoes and the tamarind together with the sambar powder together this is such a great flavorful awesome dish an authentic dish a day keeps your mental agony away that's what the statement i can give after eating this scrumptious dish and along with the rice this dish tastes very well and it's a perfect combination so don't you think this dish is really easy healthy and of course quick to make do give this recipe a try and if you like this give it a big thumbs up and share with all your friends and families don't forget to hit the notification button that's the bell button near the subscribe button to get the notifications of my upcoming videos until then have homemade fresh food with fresh ingredients and stay healthy. This is Visu signing off from Visu's Magical Kitchen. Meals and memories are made in my kitchen. Do subscribe my channel here and watch my other videos here. Don't forget to provide your feedback and it's really important to me. Until then, thanks for watching my videos. Bye.